Good morning, guys. It is Monday, um, week eight. So I did skip week seven because that was technically spring break. Technically, it was week six. Um, but I just changed. I just jumped a week so that our agendas match um, Mr. Schnone's and other information you're getting from the school. So here's your week in a glance. Um, you're going to fill out the section of notes under series circuit. And it's unit 10. I must have missed that one right there. Um, unit 10, and you're going to complete page 4 of your workbook, and I will post the solutions. We're going to be talking about series circuits, which basically means there's only one path for electrons to travel, or one path for electricity to travel. And the key is when that path is broken, all electricity is lost. Um, we, we cannot transfer those electrons if there's a gap. So... Series circuits are your uh, Christmas lights that are generally a little cheaper because when one bulb goes out, they all go out. Where parallel circuits tend to be a little more expensive because they require more wires. And when one bulb goes out, um, that's the only location that is losing the flow of electrons or the current. Um, you're going to do some workbook practice. You've got a FET activity on series circuits and a couple more practice to, to end it up with a Castle Learning Quiz. It says up to and including series circuits. I'm going to tell you right now, it's pretty much only series circuits, but you may need to calculate, you know, number of electrons that pass a point. Um, remember that we're talking about current there, and one electron is equal to one elementary charge in coulombs. All right. Um, so this is again that week in review. Um, just change this really quick. I just want to show you the CAS learning assignment um, and where everything is. So, as usual, the YouTube channel has our video on series circuits. So, please, I just bumped it up to the front. That's the portion that we're going to focus on. Um, and you're also going to be working on your. Let's see if we can get to it here workbook and that is again posted under unit 10 material um, right here we are focusing pretty much on page four through um, seven really so four this is a great one right here uh, seven and eight and this one is right from I pulled a couple pages right from Mr. Mellon here um, he has got some really good examples here so I pulled a few from his site and uh, we'll go over these focusing on series this week, parallel circuits next week. Um, and at the end of that, you guys can decide whether I should wire my shed in series or in parallel. Um, and we'll do that. So remember that your FET simulation will be on the Colorado Institute site. And I will post that up under classwork. But you guys are familiar with this. And you've worked your way through this. Um, many times. So I'll post the link, but it's going to be down here under the um, series and virtual lab construction kits right down here. So other than that, reach out. Um, I'll see you guys on Thursday for our Google Meet. Uh, I'd like to talk about maybe the rest of the year, considering we are now done for the year. Sad, sad, sad. Um, I will keep you guys updated on anything I know in terms of you know, when you might be able to get back into school for stuff. Um, but if you do have questions that you maybe want to ask an administrator, principal, or anyone, and you're not getting a response because we are a little busy, um, reach out and let me know, and I will certainly ask you. All right, guys, uh, other than that, I will touch base with you later today, and um, keep working on Unit 10.